Rest at cousin uncle <laughs> Muta the shooter. Yes, I know Baruch. I am cousin. <laughs> yes, I'm here to react to certain videos <laughs> where I get. Me say, this brother, this brother here at the Dexter Dabs. I tell you, girl, them poison him. <laughs> well, hear me, mommy say, because if him kind of makes sense. L listen. Man work hard to give woman everything Yet still she still a give the man born All when him just be hard the way the ring So still a give another man Something alright? Something alright, yeah? Me not fight the thing But some girl think them can style the thing Which spies the thing Must see one look up in my life the thing <laughs> Yes, would you hear that? Yes, he makes some valid point. Woman who need to stop it. <laughs> make we hear him as it. Risa we must it. Me said that one ya pass. Breaking news. Y'all a can man feel like them pussy too good. Breaking news. Y'all you make a loop. <laughs> well, would you feel like a him bad? <laughs> you know me there. Him say better than him. Him reach all in a studio. Man, if you teach me why, I go teach you why. Hey, ba, hey, ba. No more string us no paper. <laughs> And a stranger, stand up. Hey, and a prepper. Can you keep him, mommy, 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 keep him, keep him, mommy, keep him, mommy, keep him, this next clip, I don't know where them do man have been at the bag, but the police them grab the bag. And I say, yo, Bill, <laughs> boy, you man, drunk like lion, about 10 of them have you all him. Stall up, my dear, stall up, my dear. Stall up, my dear, stall up, my Yes, you can see why some women say you have a drink up on a peanut punch, baba roots, and them soup. Yes, good, you have a drunk. All right, now when you have a drink, trouble when I see a pick me. I don't know. We have to say about this bounty. Youth, you know, see. Say the boy them tried this the man, so the man nearly eradicate them. <laughs> what you say? They are nearly terminated and eradicate. All right, make a plate. Me not talk to you. Uh, me not talk to you. Fuck off! I'm gonna stop yourself. Sure. You want me stepping on your face, bumbo one? Fuck off! You never worry for me to get up and stop your mother and your father. Sure. No, I'm the 
in a consideration as he say a good thing in attack he might look for the slow side but him thinking fast and no Jomie cannot think like him <laughs> no need for do better yes here we brother have say good afternoon people I want to thank you Prime Minister for joining Jamaica and joining us I ask him to thank you for the corona money when you give to people how you know how you know how you know bank book you can go rest you know to collect the money, I'll try the idea and it's in your hand. I would have them bank, I would have them bank here, I can go to the bank, go to the bank, go to draw the money. My thank you, Andrew, for the look of money. I'm asking people up on the road, in the third time I look of money, and Andrew on his go, no. Look at how the money, Andrew on his go, I'm asking people if you take time with it. Don't use it by a rum, and don't use it by a cigarette. That's not nice. And don't use it by and don't and don't, don't, don't take a gram, go, go gram money and gram this and gram that. That's not nice. Use the money that Andrew is giving you to do. Buy your food, buy your clothes, and buy your one socks, buy your foot, buy your foot, and put them when you're just up in your yard. Man, I mean, I Andrew, I mean, I thank you for your feet, Andrew, on this. Because I never have nothing for myself, neither. You give me a little money for go to buy my BSO, my soap, and my bros. For wash out my dirty clothes that I have. I never look, I never have a wife to let me wash my clothes them. And I mean, show some aunt Mary wash my clothes them. I sometimes the clothes and phones that I have on too. But thank you, Andrew Ronis. Thank you. A baba people walk a baba people bap and a baba people bros. In a nice way, baba walk a baba people things. Thank God, I have a little money for myself to buy my own stuff them. People, they take time in the money. Respect, bro, God. But you know what I'm saying? But my say respect. Feel the money you give me. Respect, for it. Big up yourself. Yes, you better talk about <laughs> No, last week, a man say, him, 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 no one, 10 grand, 100 or 200 toes. So look on the line. <laughs> look on the people, we're grateful to get the money. Oh, um, my cast here. You're bringing intellect all the And people inside already. What is show bo bo bo? I don't know. Then now we're going to wear them and stay. And now, yeah. You don't know. I have, I have heard all kinds of talk. Can I line vagina with so much people? Right, come back. Yes, and lastly, Mr. Brogard, <laughs> apologizing, God. You know, he's kind of busy. We have to go give him now on here, guys. Being the Prime Minister, I deal with too much. <laughs> I tell you, I deal with too much people like Jamaicans. He can't do it everywhere one time. He could have Superman little more. But he may apologize to the people in the situation. Yes, when you see the videos, when you see the whole heap of things circulating, <laughs> the voice notes and all them things there. So he's he giving him two things. And I think an investigation. Shall be done. Yes, yeah, I will forget run, get run. I tell you. My fellow Jamaicans, the cohort of Jamaicans that returned yesterday from the United States and Canada under the controlled reentry program has been encountering a number of difficulties at their quarantine location. These difficulties relate primarily to delays in the admission process at the quarantine facility and the lack of timely provision of meals. First of all, I must unreservedly apologize to every returning citizen who has had to endure less than favorable conditions. The issues encountered are completely unacceptable. I asked Minister Christopher Tufton and Minister Matthew Samuda to visit the quarantine facilities today to get a first-hand view of the situation. Arising from the visits, the government has already taken some remedial actions and we will do everything we can to completely rectify the situation. A preliminary assessment has revealed that the situation arose from capacity issues and unforeseen circumstances such as weather and a power outage. This against a background of heightened panic and stigma. 
We have made much progress on several aspects of the control reentry program. The application and approval process is fully managed online through the JAM COVID-19 platform, either on the website or via the iOS or Android app. We have streamlined the process at the airport with the processing time cut by half compared to the previous cohort that arrived on Wednesday last week. Many persons spanning several ministries and agencies have worked tirelessly to get our citizens home. It is extremely unfortunate that this situation has dampened the happiness that our citizens would have had upon returning home to Jamaica. The government is very sympathetic to the plight of overseas Jamaicans who wish to return home, many of whom are under severe hardship. As a result, the government has gone above and beyond to facilitate the return of our Jamaicans. This has stretched the capacity of our public health system and our frontline workers. The reality is that we now have over 600 persons in quarantine and isolation facilities to manage. We also have four quarantine areas in St. Mary and many other active contact tracing exercises ongoing. This while conducting all the other public health duties. While we are working assiduously to bring home our citizens, it is clear we cannot continue to overextend ourselves as this increases the risk both to the general public health and our returning Jamaican citizens. We have to work within our capacity while we seek to build additional capacity. We are now beyond our quarantine capacity. It will therefore be at least 14 days before we are able to accommodate any sizable additional cohort. I have directed the ministries and agencies involved to use this period to explore ways of rapidly scaling up our capacity, both in accommodations and logistics, to ensure a positive experience for all. Over 8,000 Jamaicans have already applied to return home through the JAM COVID-19 system. To accommodate this number, utilizing state quarantine would mean an inordinate delay in their return. The government is already working towards the development of a home quarantine solution, incorporating technology that will facilitate the geofencing and monitoring of persons re-entering Jamaica to ensure that they stay in their designated quarantine area. We continue to manage this process in a manner that keeps all Jamaicans safe. We again thank you for your patience and understanding, and I wish to assure Jamaicans overseas who wish to return home that your government is working assiduously to get you back home as soon as possible. And again, for those Jamaicans in quarantine, we know it is a difficult time. We know it is a psychologically stressful time. We will therefore redouble our efforts to ensure that you have a satisfactory experience as you transition safely from quarantine to your homes. <laughs> yes, we're out here without fear and without care. All right, peeps, if you like the reaction videos, let me know, drop a like, drop your thoughts in the comments, and respect and thank you for showing love. Uh, important announcement this evening on the live stream. Kadaboop, skidabop.